I'm Nancy Lyons. And I'm Megan Wilker. And we're the Geek Girls. You can find us at geekgirlsguide.com. And today we talked about social media, sort of an introduction to social media. We really try to get people to think differently about social media. So right now it's sort of overhyped and it's the topic du jour, but you know there there is a way to sort of approach it strategically and think about it organizationally. And um, you know we either see people that really want to embrace it but they're not sure why, or people that really want to resist it, and they they can come up with a zillion reasons for resisting it, and none of them make a ton of sense. And so we just try to. Um, join those two conversations and not necessarily sell social media but just get people thinking about it in a strategic way that could um, perhaps advance their message and engage their customers. So it's sort of about an overview of what do people mean when they talk about social media and how can individuals and companies use those technologies to achieve whatever their goals might be and what are the different ways that they need to be thinking about social media. How does it differ from the old kind of push communication technologies? Because it is very different. It's a conversation. It's not about just marketing and talking to people. It's about conversing with your different audiences and that's a very different way of communicating for most marketers and most organizations. They're not set up to have those two-way conversations. And so really it's about us um, telling people what we know about it and also encouraging them to ask questions and have a dialogue about what, what are the reasons that they're resisting it, what are their fears about it, what are their concerns, what are they trying to achieve with it. As marketers, we're used to sort of pushing a message out, and then the people that engage with customers are on the customer service side of the relationship. And now we need to think about empowering broader constituencies of people to uh, have conversations with customers in a way that um, you know is relevant and 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 creates action, creates activity and engagement. And that's a new way of thinking for marketers and for business. Um, but that's what we try to center the conversation around, is just how to start thinking that way. And I think, you know, Geek Girls Guide, we started, um, you know, our mission is to create safe spaces for people to have conversations about technology, and social media is one of the conversations that people seem to want to engage in right now because it's so popular. But, um, you know, these are just tools, technological tools, that we're using to communicate messages, and um, the Geek Girls Guide covers a broad spectrum of those sorts of tools and uh, sort of web-based applications. And I can tell you that a mistake that a lot of companies make is in putting an intern in charge of their social media because they have this mistaken perception that because younger people have always used these technologies since you know they came out of the womb texting each other that they somehow understand uh, how to apply those technologies strategically and the truth is that that's not the case so I think I can tell you that the person it should not apply to in your organization is your intern and it should be a diverse group inside the company that's responsible for how you're gonna have these conversations with all your different audiences because it's not just about marketing it's about marketing it's about customer service it's about human resources there are many different types of conversations that you need to be having with people in these spaces hey, one of the other big messages that we try to impress upon our audiences is it's not instead of it's an addition to so a lot of the things that we've been doing in terms of marketing all along they don't have to go away we just have to add this additional level of engagement and then empower people to have those conversations and I think people right now especially think the social thing is the secret sauce it's the magic what did you call it pixie, pixie dust. dust yeah it's the pixie dust that's gonna solve all their problems and you know we often tell people that 10 years ago or you know just a few years ago people would come into us and say make me viral and you know in our world you know viral is not necessarily a good thing especially these days right um, but uh, they thought the viral was the secret sauce and before that it was just being on the web you know that was where the magic happened and I think you know hopefully over time the lesson we've learned is there is no magic and everything requires real energy and real commitment and um, a real strategy real thinking behind it and a lot of the strategy that we ask people to think about with regard to social media is the stuff they've been thinking about all along who's your audience what are they expecting of you um, you know what kind of value are you going to bring to the conversation and what's your commitment to the ongoing sort of management of that conversation those are the things that I think people don't think about when they say let's make a Facebook page because magic happens on the Facebook and it doesn't. So we try to really impress upon them sort of the practical thinking involved in social. You can find information about social media and all sorts of technology and get your technology questions answered at our website, which can be found at www.geekgirlsguide.com.